Welcome to Deadlock 3 of Death Inc. In this video we are going to be creating office themed guns for our office themed game. This is to move away from using guns that actually exist in real life, like we previously did, and move towards a more cartoony game, with for example things like unrealistic proportions, over exaggerated animations, and more. So here's the first gun we're going to make in this style, the printer gun. This gun is exactly what it sounds like, it's a printer that is also a gun, but instead of shooting bullets it shoots paper. Now designing this gun was relatively easy, I just made a pixel art printer and that's it. Then I made a shooting animation for it which is basically just a gun rotating and moving backwards and I put it in the game. But of course no gun is complete without its bullets, so I drew a couple of stages of paper flying through the air, with at the beginning the paper being folded in half and each drawing opening up more, and at the end it's just a regular piece of paper lying on the ground. And if you weren't already convinced that this gun would look awesome in the game, here's me shooting some paper around. Now you can't tell me that that doesn't look incredibly satisfying. Okay, so this might have looked like it wasn't that difficult to make, and even though it wasn't without its problems, you'd be right to assume that. But this wasn't the case for all guns. You see, originally I wanted to create 20 different unique guns for this video, however when I came up with this number I had severely underestimated the amount of work creating interesting guns is, and not only that, a lot of the good ideas were simply not possible to make. For example, quite a lot of people suggested I made a crossbow like gun that uses rubber bands to shoot pencils, however this is literally impossible to convert to pixel art, especially with the perspective of my game. They would probably work in a 3D first person game, but not a pixel art top down one. So instead of 20 guns, this deadlock is going to have just 5. But at least all five guns are really good, in my opinion. So with all that lovely context behind us, let's move on to gun number two, the pencil rocket. The gun itself is a pencil sharpener, and originally it was supposed to shoot boring, regular pencils. However, when I made the sprite for the pencil, I thought it kinda looks like, well, a rocket. So after putting all the sprites in the game, and also making the shooting animation, which again used the rotate and move back technique, it was time to turn a pencil into a rocket. Now I probably could have achieved this effect by just adding some smoke to the end of the pencil, but I went with the more convoluted and difficult route of making it target the mouse. This means you can change the trajectory of the pencil whilst it's flying through the air. Not really enough to make a huge difference in combat, but absolutely enough to make it feel like a rocket. Oh, and by the way, I did end up adding the smoke as well, but let's not talk about that. At this point, there's just one final thing we need to do, and that is add an explosion. This took quite a long time to make. I think I spent well over two days on this, and to be honest, after I was done, I realised it kind of looks a lot like dust and not an explosion, but I spent too much time on it to get rid of it now, so I hope you can pretend it just looks good. But that is the pencil rocket done. I am genuinely quite happy with it, although the explosion currently doesn't do anything since I haven't created a combat system yet, but I'm sure that will happen soon enough. Okay, it's time for the next gun, and this one has been requested a lot. Not. It's the staple gun. Although it isn't actually a staple gun, since I explained before, things like that just don't look good in pixel art. So instead I went with a regular stapler that you slam down to eject the staple. I actually think it fits a lot better within the more cartoony style we're going with. And speaking of cartoony, I made it absolutely huge, which is a theme you'll probably see continued in future guns, because the bigger the gun is, the more detail I can put in it, and the more recognisable the gun becomes. For example, this is my more realistically sized stapler. It looks really bad, and even this design is way out of proportion. But anyway, it's time to make a slamming animation for this stapler. And this is the animation I made. I think it looks really good, but if you look very carefully you can see it kind of looks like some kind of monster trying to bite down on something. And this is actually a great example of the kind of enemies I want to make for this game, although in this case it was purely by accident. But after putting this bitey looking animation in the game, and creating a very simple staple sprite, something felt a bit off. I thought it was the staple at first, so I tried a couple of different sprites, however none of them looked quite right. But then I realised the problem wasn't the sprite, but the impact. We have this powerful slamming animation of the stapler, but that same energy isn't converted to the staple. 
So after thinking about this problem for a while, I finally figured out a solution, adding dust particles. And the difference was incredible. Suddenly it felt like these staples had a huge amount of force behind them, making them actually feel good to fire off. And that means it's time for the next gun, the pen gun. Originally this was just going to be a boring regular pen that would either shoot ink or its cap. But what I realised is that all these pens are so boring that they usually only have a single colour or a transparent body, but that just doesn't translate well to pixel art, so I didn't really know what to do. My solution was googling pixel art pen in the hope of finding others who were able to do it, and that's when I found this picture, and I immediately wanted to see if I could turn the gun into this instead of a boring regular pen. So after a bit of struggling and a slight bit of copying, this is the gun I drew, and I still think it looks incredible. Certainly one of my best pieces of pixel art so far. Then I just followed the familiar steps. I rotated and moved it back for the animation, I put it in the game and I designed the bullets. Then I just made it shoot those bullets and used the dust mechanic from the stapler gun to add some ink blobs flying off of it. Already it was looking really good, but I also felt like ink should leave something behind instead of just disappearing. Appearing. So I drew an ink puddle that the bullet would leave behind when it gets destroyed, and I honestly think it looks really good. In the future it might even have a function in combat, like making enemies blind or something like that, but for now it's purely aesthetic. But that brings us to our last gun, that isn't really a gun at all, it's a book. Nothing interesting about it, just a plain old book. But believe me or not, this was actually one of the more difficult ones to make. The sprites were relatively easy, and even the animation process went fine. But where it became really difficult was the shooting, because you don't shoot it, you throw it. Meaning at some point our gun needs to turn into a bullet. And I'm sure there are better ways of doing it, but here's how I did it. I first removed the book from the throwing animation after a certain point, so that it disappears the moment you throw the book. Then in Unity I made the book spawn point at the exact place it disappears in the animation, and then I tell it to wait until that moment is reached to spawn the book. So up until this moment the book is still part of the gun, and then here it turns into a bullet. It was a bit tricky to get the timing right, but now that I have I think it looks pretty good. And even though I haven't figured out how to get the book back after it has been thrown, I am still quite happy with how it turned out. And that goes for all guns, I am genuinely pleased with them, and I hope you are too. However I do have a favour to ask. If you are good at pixel art, and you have a good idea for an office themed weapon of some sort, feel free to post a concept on my discord. This would greatly help me out as clearly I have no idea what I'm doing. But that's it for this devlog, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you want to see more of this game make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next devlog, in which we hopefully do something a little bit more exciting. But until then, bye.